Uh, oh, they didn't collect your papers? <laughs> well, we'll do that later. Let us give Mariah a warm round of applause. taking it be, so they would not have to wear a helmet. 
And then their philosophy was, I'm going fast anyways. Like, if I get hurt, like, the helmet isn't going to help me. Yes, and that was the controversy when I was looking this, all this information up, is a lot of people say that um, helmets can injure them if they wear them already. And my thing is, is you take your chances either way. So I'm just pro-helmet <laughs> because of my previous experiences with my family and everything. Uh, I don't really have a question, but I do have a comment. I really appreciate all the information that you gave us. My brother was in a really bad motorcycle accident in September, mm -hmm. and the doctor said that the, the helmet was the only thing that kept him alive, and mm -hmm. he broke his pelvis in eight different places, broke all of his ribs, both of his arms, <coughs> and the guy left him there on the yeah. side of the road. And so it's not even just like the impact of him hitting the ground, but like if somebody came and like hit him, like I, mm -hmm. I mean, maybe it wouldn't withstand the weight of a car, but. Yeah, would. and that's the big controversy too, is a lot of people say that when they wear a helmet, they try to argue that it, when certain weather conditions apply, wearing a helmet can actually harm you. But I chose to go with this point, so yeah. thank you for that. Yes. First of all, I'd like to give you some condolences on your brain before oh, thank you. Dr. Nelson talked about a motorcycle accident. Second, was she the operator or was she the passenger? Um, they were both on separate motorcycles. I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't make that clear. They, um, he was at the end of the road and she was coming to meet him and he went to turn and they collided into each other. And you said she didn't have a helmet or she did? She didn't. She did not have a helmet. And the doctor said if she would have been wearing one, she, she was driving or she was driving. They were both driving oh, separate motorcycles. He, he actually was lifelighted and lived for about two hours. Her friend did. But then he died. Well, I think you gave some very important information today because a lot of people that ride motorcycles, which I ride on motorcycles, yeah, I know you, yeah. they don't realize how how much protection you how little protection you have on a motorcycle. You don't have metal mm -hmm. covering you like you do in a car. Mm -hmm. So to get out there and ride without a helmet, knowing that you don't have the protection of metal around you, <clears throat> like in a car, it's very foolish to get out there and do that. So what I think that makes some, is so I like your information. Thank you very much. I just wanted to comment as well that I really appreciated your speech because um, a couple years ago my brother was in an accident where he fell on the back of a pickup truck and didn't have any kind of headgear or anything um, and he has brain damage now he can't speak or read or write or anything like that and if he had had a helmet or if I'm just not sitting back in the pickup truck um, he probably would have been okay so thank you for doing this I think it's really important for people to know. I also want to you know, just make a comment and say thank you because I am around a lot of, uh, actually my grandparents are the leaders of a biker gang. Yes, they yes, are a I safe do. Game. <laughs> 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 you Wait, you no, 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 no. Right? Quick history lesson: those are one percenters. <laughs> so yes. there's there's only you know a very small number of actual people like that. But I actually have an uncle who works with uh, Hell's Angels and people like that. <laughs> As a Christian by group. <laughs> 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 my grandparents on my other side were bike riders. They were like coffee shop bike riders. Where's the ISIS thing? <laughs>